In this screencast I'll show you how to make a multiple answer question in UniLearn. So go to create question, scroll down to multiple answer and then it should come up with a page where we can make this and as suggested previously uh, it's good to have the question already set up as text then we can just kind of copy and paste this across and so this question is which of the following names are or which of the following are the names of oceans and I'm going to allow partial credit and I'm going to allow negative scores this is so that if all options are, are selected then the student will receive a zero overall but I'm not going to allow a, a negative score overall for the question I am also going to select to show the answers in random order okay the, the number of answers that I need for this example is 7, so I'll click, click 7 and allow UniLearn to update that. Once that's happened we can scroll down and start to paste in some answers into the answer boxes. So there's all seven of my answers but I'm just going to distribute them across all of the answer boxes here and then after I've done that I'm going to adjust all of the partial credit options Okay, so uh, I'm going to click the questions that are correct, which are the first five that I've put in there. And then I'm going to give partial credit for each of these of 20% each. And this partial credit must add up to 100% overall. So if you've got a fiddly fraction, like you've got three answers that are right, you might need to put 33.3. .3. 33.3 and then 33.4 for example. Um, I'm also going to put some negative credit for these ones. There's two incorrect answers and I'm going to give minus 50% for each incorrect answer. So this means that if uh, the student selects all seven options the overall mark will be zero or if they select some correct some incorrect the, the score will be reflective of, of how much they knew uh, in, in the question. And again, we've got the option to put some feedback. So here's some pre-prepared feedback. Put that in here. And again, as with the MCQ video I showed, the, this is the same except for it says correct or incorrect. And then just actually outlines the correct answers, the incorrect answers, uh, with a bit of extra explanation. Uh, again, we can categorize, add, add keywords and things like that, or add some instructor notes. But overall this is now ready to go as a question and we can hit submit. And if we click on the, uh, the details button we should be able to see all of the information that's gone into that question. Overall that's how you can make a multiple answer question in UniLearn.